just thought I'd do a quick card read. Haven't done one of these in such a long time, but I'm going to use this deck, Razor Vibration Oracle by Kyle Gray. And uh, hey, I don't know, just a whim. Maybe there's a message we need to hear right now. And let's see what we get. I'm going to cut the deck. I'm going to pick this card. And it says, your mind is an altar to source energy. All right, I like it. Let's find that. Your mind is a source, um, your mind is an altar to source energy. I'm gonna read it and then we'll just see, you know, what we get from this. So, your mind is a powerful space. It's like a temple of sacred space with an altar that is directly connected to the universe. Throughout your human life, you will face challenges, fear, and uncertainty. Yes, we all have that. These experiences can contribute to thinking that you are facing things alone. But you're never alone. But all of the, these thoughts can be placed on that altar, that connection to source energy, and you can invite the universe back in to support you. So if you're finding a certain situation particularly challenging at the moment, lay it on the altar. Add all your worries and concerns, and when you place these thoughts on the altar, you open to a higher power that is able to inspire you and bring healing and change. Today, the universe is encouraging you to know that you are not alone in the temple of your mind. So there's a vibe of the day quote. We might as well take it, right? I welcome support from the universe with the thoughts that cause me concern. Yeah, well, I kind of like that because really, what, what are you going to do? Just let it keep rattling around in your mind because all your mind does is throw oh no all your mind does is throw more junk onto it more of that subconscious program building it making it bigger than it actually is if we can just cut that off right at the start right imagine putting it on the altar giving it up to source spirit god whatever you want to call it right give it up because you know what by your focusing negatively on what that thing is, you don't allow the inspiration to come in where your solutions are, where the greatest idea can pop in that easily takes you up and out of this space. So the way I see it, by imagining you're just giving it up, whether you're putting it on that altar or however you wanna imagine it for yourself, you're just letting it go, letting it go, deciding I'm not gonna be stuck in this energy because I will never find my solutions that way. And if you think about it, look back, you don't find your solutions that way. I know I haven't. So when I give it up, let it go, breathe, distract yourself, go do something else, watch a funny movie, anything, right? Go outside in nature, play with an animal, a child, you know, do something that's uplifting. And then you'll notice that all of a sudden you get this little hit or something that you can do that shifts the whole thing completely and then you're not stuck just like wallowing in that energy and letting it sink deeper and deeper and deeper it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger the more negative shit you stuff you throw onto it the bigger it gets let it go let it kind of dissolve call the light in right ask for angels guides uh god whatever you want to call it source energy to come in and help you find the solutions just give it up and allow the solutions to come in because you know what? My experience is that that's when my best solutions come in, when I'm not like trying to figure it out. Because remember that trying word, trying is not doing, trying is just being stuck. So anyway, I hope that helps you in some way. Maybe somebody needed to hear that. Um, I enjoy it because I think I finally get it. Like a lot of times I think I've mastered that and I can do it. And then I find myself stuck in that spiral before I realize, oh my God, how did I get here? Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't just let it go. I just started adding more and more crap and it was collecting because energy draws like energy. So more junk would come my way, pile up on the thing, right? We don't want that. So just let it go. Find your happy space, whatever it takes to do that and see how the magic comes in and how you just easily shift out of that space into a solution and into a whole new brighter place. So I hope that helped. And uh, if you like this, comment below, let me know, give me a like and I'll see you on another one. Bye.